um, sold it to this builder. And so I think he's like gutting it and doing a lot of new things. Hmm. So do you and Kate talk still? Has your relationship changed a lot since high school? Um, yeah. I mean, it's changed a ton. Kate and I just like have been friends for, or we like have known each other forever. We lived on the same street, so we met in like first grade on the bus. She was the only girl in my grade who like took my bus, so we just like sat together every day from like first grade through 10th. But then beyond that, we were just like, I was at her house like every afternoon in middle school and like spending summers like up at her lake house, which is like an hour from here, co-planning her bat mitzvah. <laughs> obviously don't know what that experience was like for her. She ended up having like three manic episodes within three weeks and she was really scared to like take the drugs and was that they were like prescribing her and wasn't intent on like continuing to see a psychiatrist even though that was what was recommended and like all the conversations we had was just her trying to like move on from it. I have this person on the phone telling me she's doesn't know if she can like keep living and I'm getting her coordinated with like hospital care and then three days later she wants to tell me that she's fine like to me that just doesn't sound like you're fine now we're at this like crossroad where we like came together in this one like super intense moment and then it was just like we kept going our different ways like yeah we haven't talked about the fact that we're not talking and we have touched base like minimally it's just like very complicated you know Megan called me and was like you know told me I was she thought it was kind of mean that I wouldn't see Kate and that she thought that I if I didn't want to be friends with her like I needed to tell her and it just was like it just felt like so trite like I didn't even know how to like put the words Megan was saying like to fit them into my understanding of the situation like I don't have like a choice even if I choose to not be like speaking to Kate or to like not be communicating with her right now like I can't choose that she is this person that I grew up with in a really intimate way and to have like this really intimate understanding and knowledge about and like she to me as well like not like I can't choose like I can't choose that so I don't understand the idea that I could like choose to not be friends with her like that that's not what we are so yeah Kate and I aren't talking right now can you get me out of can you pull away the if just for a little 